The house where John Benet Ramsey's body was found has changed a lot in the 20 years since her murder. This is what it looked like in 1996. And here it is today. An eight foot iron fence surrounds the property. Thick shrubs and trees provide privacy from the looky loos who still drive by every day. The current homeowners have never spoken out until now. It's just it's a wonderful place to live. And um, it's just, it's home. Carol Schuler and her husband Tim bought the house in 2004 for one million dollars. You'll become a somebody. She's the daughter of Robert Schuler, the famed life. televangelist who died last life. year. The mom of five says at first she was hesitant about the idea of living in the house where John Bonet was killed. I got out of the car and I'm looking at it going, God, are we really doing this? I mean, really? Is this, this is just, why are we doing this? And we walked through the front door. <laughs> The minute we did, my breath was just taken away. Carol says she was determined to breathe new life into the house. This has become a dark monument. You know, it's like a, it's like this thing that just was sitting there and that was just a constant reminder of, of something horrible that happened. And I'm just a believer in undoing stuff like that. And we'd like to welcome you to our home and wish you a very Merry Christmas. This old home video shows the Ramseys celebrating Christmas in the house a year before tragedy struck. Back in 1996, the police shot this crime scene video in the basement where John Bonet's body was found. It was a labyrinth of small, dark rooms, but Carol opened it up, transforming it into a warm, inviting family room. We really wanted to create a space where all our kids could just kind of go down there and and make it a hangout spot. Because of all the renovations, the original interior had to be recreated for the highly anticipated CBS documentary, The Case of John Bonet Ramsey, airing later this month. The Ramsey house, though it is still standing, has been thoroughly renovated. It doesn't look like it did in 1996. If they wanted to find out what really happened that night, we needed to rebuild it. John Bonet's original bedroom has been reconstructed in painstaking detail. She had come back from a Christmas party and had fallen asleep in the car and was brought straight up to bed. And there are many theories about what happened next. And here's a replica of the staircase where the ransom note was found. As for the current owner, she told Inside Edition the dark cloud that has hung over the house for all these years has finally been lifted. It's full of joy again. It's full of life again. We would love to be here the rest of our lives.